Hi, I'm Danielle and this is my bus. Come take a look at where I live. This is my bus and circumstances just ended up with me having a bus. Uh, first I came home from holidays, I was in Manitoba at my mom and dad's, came home to a for sale sign on the condo I was living in, no notice. Within a month I had an eviction notice, but I had been watching Chrome's videos and I kind of already had this, I wanted to get a bus, I wanted to get a van or something. And sure enough on Craigslist. This little Spanish guy was trying to sell this and get out of Dodge. He only had a week and a half left. I made the offer, I won the bus, and it's been awesome. I've been living in it now since June 24th. about the bus. Sergio was a sweetheart. He had already insulated the floor. It took him three times to do that. He wanted it good and he didn't want any wobble wobble. He insulated the roof and did all the wood for me. He put in the Alpine stereo which is awesome. I haven't finished figuring it out but I'm sure my son will come and show me all that. What else did he do? He Oh, his mother stayed in the bus for a while when she was in from Spain and apparently it was toasty warm. He had a diesel furnace there, but we kind of didn't feel safe with diesel dripping out of the can with the hose and the wood, but that's another story. And his, <laughs> he brought that and installed that in the bus. I also have a little sconce that kind of matches with some red and everything. So there's little details of Sergio's that I just, I, I had to keep. They were part of the charm that sold me on the bus. I took out all the burlap. Sorry Sergio, I know it took a long time to glue burlap all over the back and, and, and all around the post, but I'm not a burlap girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took it to Manitoba. My dad and my uncle and I spent two solid weeks, 7.30 in the morning till noon, 40 minutes for lunch, back at it, and then working till 5 pretty much for the solid two weeks. I think we took Sunday off, but my uncle came back in the afternoon after church to keep going. And this was actually just a living bench back. It, it was just, a, just a, a shelf, basically. It wasn't very usable. So we had, had started gathering stuff when I wanted to do this last spring when I was in Manitoba. This is a desk that comes from Powerview School. It had be, been relocated to Beausager School. And it's, we just kind of built it in here to act as my little sink under here. It stores all my toiletries, my makeup, my hairbrush, that kind of thing. We, I took a lot of cleaning. It was filthy and dirty and we sanded it. My sister sanded, my sister sanded this. This was just a piece of wood from Uncle Frank. Not my real uncle, but my dad and my uncle have adopted him. Um, this my dad found somewhere and it's holding 
various things that you want to keep by your bedside <laughs> little things like that but we just built and built and we tore things out that needed to be torn out like the little diesel stove my dad was able to build the little mounting thing for the wave heater and then I got to work on the bush fridge that I bought from Chuck Niedermeyer who also happens to be a chainsaw carver out of interest sake if you ever need a big bear chainsaw carved for your yard this was up in the bush where he used to I'm not sure if he was trapping up there or if he was working at the wild rice lakes but it's an insulated plywood box ancient it's probably 40 50 years old if not older leather handles and i cleaned it up it was just ugly plywood the inside of this freezer has just got like two inch insulation on it this is freaking amazing and they covered the inside. Did you guys cover this or was this it? This was all done by Mr. Niedermeyer. You know that cheesy little wallpaper stuff you put on the inside of drawers? That looks like what it's covered in. And how long does this thing hold ice for? About a week. Man. I'm sure in the summer it will be down to five days, but right now we're a good week with, it's not all ice, but it's cold, cold water at the end of the week. Yeah. That thing's better than my Pelican cooler that I paid 200 bucks for. <laughs> And it looks pretty good too. Well, it didn't before. I had to paint and paint and sand. What about draining it? My dad actually had an old pump, siphon pump. Yeah. So if it's too heavy, I can just pump the water out. Yeah. Otherwise, it all stays in the wild rice bag that's waterproof. And I put Sweet. all the ice in the wild cool. rice bag. That's really cool. I love it. What we found behind here was crazy. Um, it was all insulated by Sergio. And it was boarded with the same ceiling wood. And we just took a peek and what we found behind there was a mouse nest and enough rice for my mom to make supper with. Mouse must have made a million trips. Did you did you actually make dinner with the rice? No, but dad told us to. <laughs> I just thought I'd clarify that before everybody on my channel is like, now that's a true freaking weirdo. Right. Truly weird. We had a lot of fun telling everybody this story. But my dad cleaned that out. We found an old air conditioner housing up here. Apparently when the buses come to Canada, they pull the air conditioners out and get rid of them because the people don't need air conditioning. You know that's not true, Chrome, but. <laughs> so we pulled that out of here and my dad insulated and built me an art cabinet for all my art stuff. So we put this wood on. This is gonna be a mural. I'm gonna paint this white and I'm gonna start my art stuff. These two doors were just garbage. My sister sanded, I sanded. All of this time, meanwhile, my mom was cooking up a storm to keep us all fed while my uncle, my dad, both in their 70s, by the way, outperforming me in the work department and my sister working on all this to put it together in two weeks. I'm still shocked. I was thinking about getting one of those fancy RV, you know, the fantastic fan that you put on, but this came already with the emergency exit for the bus. So I can pop out one side up or just the other side up, or I can pop the whole thing up, or there's the other option with the emergency exit. It is meant to be an emergency exit. I can push the whole thing over and somebody young and fit like Chrome could climb up there and sit on top of the bus. This is the Wave 8. It's taking the place of the little diesel stove that we left in Manitoba. It's putting out a bit more BTUs than we need for the size of this bus. So from like a five degree cold after being out for an evening, coming back to the bus, even on medium, within 10 minutes, the whole bus is warm again. Just perfect. You get it nice and toasty before bed, and then I turn it off, close up all the windows again. I do leave windows open when I'm running it, just because it's putting out a lot of heat, and I mean, I'm hot flashing. I, I can put out <laughs> enough heat for this bus on my own some nights. It's really I don't know how to sensor on my phone app, so we'll just... <laughs> it's in there. You know that... Older ladies are worried. Don't worry. You're gonna have hot flashes. You're gonna love looking in a bus like this <laughs> I'm a little out of my element <laughs> Just a little. How do you deal with this stuff? Oh, she's hot flashing. Too. Oh, no, <laughs> I gotta go Are you ready for this Q&A? Let's go. Where do you poop? Uh, not in the bus. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do that. To the, where do you poop? Right, zoom right in. I Go to work. I'm at work every day at 6 a.m. And it just works no Monday, as weekends, I'm usually, I take myself out for breakfast or a coffee somewhere. Yep. Yep. No problems at all? Nope. nope. I do have a potty for nighttime lady problems. You gotta pee. Any parking problems at all with this thing being this big? 
none. I can go park by a senior's home. They think I'm taking the ladies out to play bingo or something. <laughs> I can go park down by an elementary school across from a park. They think I'm just the bus there. Oh, awesome. I can go park at the casino, and there's usually other buses at the casinos. It's, they'll look just like this one. They look they, just they, like they this. They look like the passenger ones that are taking people back and forth to hotels. I was down in New West, and there's a whole bunch of people parked at the Key. So if you want to have a fancy weekend and pay 10 15 bucks for parking, take yourself down to the Key and park with the other van people there. <laughs> Genius. How do you find any safety or worries at all about being like a solo female in a vehicle by yourself on the side of a road? See this dog? So this is my first line of defense. Uh, even the poor gas attendants in Manitoba, they jump to the pump for you, and she's jumping at them barking, and she does get a grouchy face sometimes. But um, otherwise, taking the dog out of the equation, do you think you would be worried anywhere? Is there any times you might, you know, felt uneasy or unsafe? In some neighborhoods, but I just wouldn't park there. Oh, see? Yeah. See? See? You, you just kind of know the city after I've been here a few years. You just... And you can feel it. You can feel the vibe as you drive down the street. You go, no, I'm not staying here. Or somebody will walk by when you think, oh, this is a nice place. And you'll just, okay, I'm going to move somewhere else. It's just, you, I go by my gut. Hey, I've been dreaming now about you. Every night I see your clearest day. It's just something about the way you make me feel because I can't cross Thanks for coming to see my bus. If you have any questions, just post them in the video that Chrome's going to post. I'm not on YouTube at this time, and I'll try my best to keep an eye on the comments and answer them. Have a great night. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking about you and all the words that I'm going to say the next time that I see a pretty face. Cause I can concentrate anytime you're beside